Hello, my name is Joanne Knight. Welcome to the barn. This barn buddy is about DXF and QLI pattern file extensions. When we're doing concatenating with point to point and we want to place more than one pattern on the screen and we have a quilt that like you see here that has sashing in between it, we can use geometric line, which is one of our Statler stitcher patterns to be able to do the stitch in the ditch in the sashing and place these patterns at the same time. The problem with that is on this time, I want to use two different patterns for these blocks. So I need to pull geometric line into my project twice. If I have both the DXF and the QLI for geometric line, I can do that very easily. So let me show you what I'm talking about. I'm going to go to add pattern. I'm going to go and find my Statler Stitcher folder and go all the way down to the Patterns Statler Stitcher G DXF. Click on a pattern, hit the G on my keyboard, and that brings me to all of the patterns that start with the letter G. And when I scroll down, you see that I have a geometric line DXF and a geometric line QLI. That's because Whenever you click on a DXF in a pattern file, in the open pattern file, Creative Studio automatically creates a QLI. So if I select the geometric line DXF, and it is here, it's up at the top, hold down my control key and left click on geometric line, let go of my control key and hit select, then done, both geometric line patterns come to the top of my pattern list and they are the same pattern. So I'm going to select the first pattern that I want to appear in this quilt setup. Because I am going to start with the stitch in the ditch on the sashing, I'm going to select geometric line first. Hold down my control key, select this winding ways pattern and it's by Nancy Hackey select my geometric line pattern again, and then select my lost in love panto pattern. Let go of my control key, and I am in standalone mode, so I can make sure that my target is on pattern and left click on my target. You would do the same thing if you are clicking on your quilt. Grid snap is on. I'm going to left click at the beginning of the session, left click on the other side of the sashing, left click across my block, then I want my sashing again, then I want the other block pattern, my sashing, my block pattern, and my sashing. I'm going to right click to end that drawing and right click to get out of that function. So now I have the patterns alternating and that's a really easy way to place them. Let me show you what happens if I try to do that with just one geometric line pattern. I'm going to select geometric line because that's where I started my sashing and I'm going to hold down my control key and select winding ways. If I did not have geometric line in my pattern list twice, and I select it again, it deselects it. I can't do this unless I have geometric line into my project twice. Here's another example of that. So I'm going to go and add pattern, go back out of this folder and go into my purchase pattern folders. I'm going to go down to Nancy Hackey's folder and there's some little cottages and I'm going to go and find those little cottage patterns and they are border patterns, so they are going to sew continuously. Select my first one, hold down my control key, and select my second one and my third one if I want to. Hit select, adds it to the pattern list, and I'm going to show you what happens now. I have my first cottage selected, hold down my control key, and select my geometric line, select my second cottage, then select my geometric line again, and then select my third cottage. So I'm going to do point to point, left click at the beginning of the block, over to the other side, 
There's my stitch in the ditch. There's my next block, my stitch in the ditch, my next block. But there is my block again, because you see, I only had two geometric lines in this pattern list. In this example, I would have needed geometric line in there three times. So let me tell you one more thing about this. If I set this up this way, this pattern, once I select it, is going to quilt at 65% speed. The geometric line is also going to quilt at 65% speed, and it will bless your heart if you try to do that stitch in the ditch at 65%. So if I marquee select from left to right and select all of my geometric lines, they are the selected pattern, so they are pink. I'm going to change my pattern speed to 10% and hit enter. And now my geometric line will quilt at 10%. My block pattern will quilt at 65. My line will quilt at 10 and it will alternate that way. So you want to be sure and do that whenever you are setting it up this way. Still draw your boundaries. Sometimes designers will not give you the DXF and the QLI, but we do have those in our Statler Stitcher patterns, so that's why we can select this geometric line twice. I hope that helps you. Thank you for coming to the barn.